Shalom, brothers and sisters. UFOs, aliens, Nephilim, demonic entities. The great deception that they'll use at the Arpazzo rapture event any second now. So this story might shock some of you, but for those of us who have been scratching into this for many years, um, before it was cool, <laughs> have uh, known about this. But it's interesting that this article came out now again. Veteran extraterrestrial lobbyist Steve Bassett told the Sun it was clear that the Catholic Church knew about UFOs and likely has documented evidence hidden in their archives. He believes the Catholic Church even thinks ETs are important and the institution has hinted at their existence in religious paintings. He said the Catholic Church we have always known has been aware of the subject going back hundreds of years. It's gone so far as to say whoever these beings are, they, the church, would be happy to baptize them if they wanted to be baptized. He said extraordinary information sits locked away in the Vatican Library and archives about the church's knowledge through the centuries regarding extraterrestrials. Bassett said eventually, the church would allow researchers in, but it likely wouldn't happen until the U.S. president had formally disclosed the existence of aliens. So absolutely, I believe there's so many things in those archives that we would love to see that they don't want you to see. Things that are damning evidence about them themselves and absolutely about the whole alien agenda and interactions with these demonic entities going back far further than we expected in the first place. But yes, I don't think it's so much the waiting on the US president to make the right move and disclose these things because not even Obama wanted to do that. Um, but I do believe post the Harpazzo rapture event, they will use this beautiful opportunity to disclose, look, they're real, they've come to help us, they've removed the undesirables from the earth to help us to ascend to a bigger plane, more of a unity, a one religion, maybe help us put our faith together and believe in one thing, maybe have one glorious leader lead us into peace and security. So yeah, I do absolutely believe they're going to play a huge role in this because I also believe that... Uh, Old Francie boy is most probably the false prophet. He ticks a lot of the boxes. So definitely something to keep your eyes on and watch as the days go by while we're busy in the ministry, while we're busy praying for the lost and while we're doing what we're doing before the Lord comes to fetch us. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.